Hello everyone, welcome back again to AZ900 with Piyush. This is the 8th video in the series as I am publishing one video every day as promised. So in this video we will be looking into Azure virtual desktops. This is gonna be a small video so stay tuned till the end as we will be doing some knowledge checks. Without further ado, let's get into it. Azure Virtual Desktop is a type of managed virtual machine that enables multiple users to access desktop and application from anywhere using any device. So you can access it via tablet, Windows machine, a Linux machine and so on. It also supports application and desktop virtualization that runs on the cloud. It provides a scalable and secure solution for remote work and desktop virtualization. And your system is secure through multi-factor authentication and role-based access control. So role-based access control is nothing but providing the least privileged access to the users with the help of roles. For example, developers get certain roles to access the virtual machine and your operator gets a certain access and the access is based on the type of role that a person is part of. Now let's have a look at the difference between Azure Virtual Desktop and Azure Virtual Machine. So we will be looking the differences in these three areas. First is operating system. Your Azure Virtual Desktop uses desktop operating system like Windows 10 or 11. However, Azure Virtual Machine can use either desktop or server operating system such as Windows Server 2012, Windows Server 2016 and so on. Azure Virtual Desktop is designed for many users to access the same virtual desktop. With the help of Windows 10 and 11 multi-session server, you, you can enable concurrent access to multiple users to the same Azure Virtual Desktop. However, Azure Virtual Machine is intended typically for the individual user at one time. This is a managed service that means your upgrades, patches and all the system maintenance will be done by Microsoft. Azure Virtual Machine is IES service and it is managed by customer. For Azure Virtual Desktops, charges per user per month and it provides the flexibility to organization with changing needs. However, the virtual machines are pay per use model. So like always take the screenshot of this page and try to answer these questions. If you find any difficulty in answering the questions, let me know in the comment section and I will try to help you out. And that's it for this video guys. I will see you tomorrow with another video. Thank you so much for watching the video.